a glimpse into the life and death of Mahatma Gandhi. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was born in the town of Porbandar, Gujarat on 2nd October 1869. In 1888, Gandhi set sail for England to pursue his degree in law. Gandhi returned to India in early 1915 after his sojourn in South Africa and never left the country again. India's most well-known writer, Ramindranath Tagore, gave him the title of Mahatma. He joined the Indian National Congress and was introduced to Indian issues politics by Gopal Krishna Gokhale. Gandhi used fasting as a political tool to put forward his demands. In his opening words to the leaders, Gandhi said, Non-violence is the first article of my faith. It is also the last article of my creed. His principles of Ahimsa, Satyagraha and non-cooperation had widespread appeal and success due to the participation of people from all strata of society. He opposed Parda, child marriage, untouchability and the extreme oppression of Hindu widows. In his publication Young India, Gandhi wrote his dream for India on 10th September 1931. I shall work for an India in which the poorest shall feel it is their country, in whose making they have an effective voice, an India in which there shall be no high class or low class of people, and an India in which all communities shall live in perfect harmony. There can be no room in such an India for the curse of untouchability or the curse of intoxicating drinks and drugs. An India where women will enjoy the same rights as men. This is the India of my dreams. Gandhi was assassinated on 30th January 1948 by a young Hindu extremist, Nathuram Vinayak Godse, who opposed Gandhiji's spirit of tolerance and non-violence. In the afternoon of 30th January, about 5 p.m., the 78-year-old Gandhi, frail from fasting, was being helped across the gardens of Birla House by his great nieces. On his way to a prayer meeting, when Nathuram Godse emerged from the admiring crowd, bowed to him, wished him Namaste and shot him three times at point-blank range in the chest and stomach. Mortally wounded, Gandhi slumped to the ground and died within half an hour. Speaking on the radio, the Indian Prime Minister Pandit Nehru said, The father of the nation is no more. The leading light has gone out of our lives and there is darkness everywhere. I do not know what to say and how to say it. Our beloved leader is no more. Albert Einstein had set off Gandhi on his 70th birthday. Generations to come will scarce believe that such a one as this ever in flesh and blood walked upon this earth. May his dream of an India where all communities shall live in perfect harmony become a reality.